Let's take this out first. Well, honestly, I was cold. I was feeling cold a while ago because it went like all night throughout the night and I left my window open. So I woke up feeling very, very cold. Oh, retake. It is another day in the life of Emanuela Dosito was a called Teno Jabura who has sang of Ruku Luka Government Bani of Shuchaji One of Premier State. And today I am pouring out what it's what is breaking my heart the most right now and how my stay so far has been in Benin Republic. You know, I thought finding an apartment would solve all of my problems and issues, but no, it just brought me new problems. <laughs> For me, it brought me new problems. Eh? It is so sad talking about that. Like, I am not acting right now. For real, this is how I feel. I am not in love with my apartment, and honestly, right now. I don't know how or what made me pay for this apartment. This apartment, yes. And I regret it. I have never regretted something so much the way I regret this apartment or paying for this apartment. I'm going to be talking all about that in this video. And for those of you who are planning on relocating to Benin Republic, say there are a lot of things you should know about this place especially when it comes to finding an apartment i'll be talking about all of that in this video but now time is running um i need to go get a clothes rack yes i've been wanting to buy this for the past three weeks it's getting to a month now and i have the money today so i'm gonna buy it after the supermarket but yes i'm gonna put this on because it's kind of like chilly outside because it rained and behold it is raining so i can't go anywhere i was indoors and i i i had no idea that it was raining so i just arrived uh Ervan so if I'm a shayo So open for the princess thank you So I already know where the clothes rack is, so I'm just going to go straight to where it is. So now I got my cloak rack and I'm going home and I'm going to take one of those. It's called Kekeno. <laughs> one of my worst mode of transportation. See, it is no big deal but it's the fact that this will be going so roughly and the speed like they have two lives. Okay, let me tell you what happened to me last week. Okay, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, I had an accident on Kekeno and I told myself, look, I am never gonna climb on this again. But anyway, look at me here taking Kekeno back home. So um, after the accident, I took taxi for like a week and it was quite expensive. And you know, I'm broke, I got no money and I can't keep up with that. And Kekeno being one of the fastest and cheapest mode of transportation in Benin Republic, I had to stay, go back to taking Kekeno. What I do is I take Kekeno for short distance and then I take taxi for long distance. We have to start from... Oh, by the way, this is not wine. This is actually Coke. But, cheers! 
to loop to loop loop lubricate to lubricate my esophagus because this is going to be a long a long long conversation okay <clears throat> let me start from getting a house in the republic there are many ways of getting a house in the republic one you can get a house um, online but the thing is um searching online the houses you would see are kind of like um expensive and mostly in service apartment and short leads which were actually kind of out of my budget because I did check that and then the second way of getting a house here is by going through an agent now I got this apartment through an agent um, you get an agent you tell them the type of apartment you're looking for two bedroom, one bedroom, self-contained the area, which area you want the house and your budget because there are types of house and then the prices, the range and everything so yeah, and I went through an agent and it took me two months to get this house I looked for house for two months in fact, there was something that happened um, I paid for an apartment somewhere and then I had to get my money back. They gave me back a refund because they, you know, wanted to act funny and all. Before I even moved in, they were already acting funny. So I told myself, look, um, these people are already acting funny. So I'm going to take my money back. And then I took my money back. And then it took me another one month to get this place. I was very, very tired. Like, it got to a point where... I was not stable. I, I really wanted to get a place. I really wanted to settle in. At some point, I thought like, if I get an apartment or when I get an apartment, I will feel more settled or I will feel, I don't know, because I, I wasn't settled. I wasn't, um, I wasn't just settled. Although I was um, okay where I was at. I was with my friend Zingy. I was at her place. But I just wanted my space. I wanted to have my space that's just it so i was like in a, a rush to get a place so when i found this place when my agent showed me this place um first of all it's actually um around the area i i wanted i actually wanted a house around this area from under the house around this area so the first thing was it was around this area and so this is the city area. The city area is quite um, big, yeah. So I, I love the this the city area. It was big, and I love that also. So yes, I, I rushed and I paid for the house, and that was a big mistake I made, and I am regretting right now. Honestly speaking, I am really, really regretting. Hmm. Now, fast forward to when I moved in. When I moved in, and um, the first day I had to buy water because water does not come up, I had to buy water from the landlord. Now the landlord lives in this compound and he is selling water to us, the tenants. What he did was he disconnected the water from coming up into the house, so he would be selling it to us. Now that is monopoly, right? Of water. And he sells us kind of like expensive, but we don't have a choice than to buy from him. Now, I did not know. Okay, oh yeah, I, I was aware of this, but I was not aware of the price he was selling. It was when I moved in and I wanted to get water and I found out that oh my god this is the price is selling it kind of expensive you know and then again the lines <sighs> I do not have my meter I'm sharing the meter we all are sharing meter with the landlord now this is very tricky because I, um, I feel like I don't act it's not about what I feel but this is what it is we the tenants are paying for the light he is using because 
he made us to pay a certain amount of money for the light monthly and now he asks us not to use some certain electronics or some certain things like um, AC, we can use AC, we can use a um, boiler, we can use you know cooker and all that stuff it's, it's, it's very terrible it's very very terrible the most painful part in all this in fact this is I can actually manage all these things I mentioned right I can manage all this I can manage all this but now this is what is getting on my nerves this is what is is making me feel uncomfortable this is what is um, giving me stress it's putting me in distress right now yeah this is what is putting me in distress right now the house is leaking in fact my apartment in particular is leaking so when I moved in I, I didn't notice the, I did and I was wondering why I noticed that mine I, because before I moved in when I came to check I saw the other rooms were not um, painted with oil paint but I noticed this particular apartment was painted with oil paint and I didn't know why but now I know why because the walls are leaking when it rains it leaks so they use the oil paint to protect the wall you know the oil paint when it rains uh, uh, and the walls are leaking it doesn't show that much or the water does not affect the wall that much for the past um three days now it's been raining back to back and what i have been going through is hell it's like hell on earth everywhere is like not like everywhere but the sitting room is leaking the sitting area is leaking the, the passage is leaking and i have complained to the landlord like three times he keeps telling me that oh someone is coming to fix it but the person never comes you know he is more concerned about money than other things so what he did was um how they pay for houses here <sighs> wow anytime I, I talk about this thing it makes me very sad honestly so how they pay for houses here is they pay for three months rent and three months caution right now the three month caution you're paying when you're moving out and you do not damage anything in the apartment, they're going to give you back the money. Although sometimes, in most cases, they just give you back two months caution, right? And they don't give you back the three month caution. They just give you two months caution and then they say they, they are going to use the one month caution to repent the house or fix whatever. So that's how they pay for house there. But when I was paying, he told me that I should pay for six months rent and one month caution honestly speaking it was at that point i should have known that there was something wrong with this place but i don't honestly i, I don't know what i was thinking maybe because i i wanted a place so badly because i was tired of searching I should have known that was like the first red flag the first red flag honestly i i should have taken back my money and left but no i i went on to pay now i have to stay here for four more months before i'll be able to move out because even if i i, I move out now he won't give me back my money he wouldn't it's like over his dead body <laughs> he wouldn't give me back that money in fact there were a lot of red flags you know one funny thing is i almost did not pay for this house you know because when he told me about the um the lights i asked him what if i want my meter he said he was going to fix it for me and then i asked him how long would that take 
and then he was like three months it's gonna take three months now this is the second month going to the third month <laughs> dude is not even saying anything concerning the pizza in fact he has not even fixed the leaking roof talk more of bringing me my personal meter i should have known you know there were just so many red flags but i was just i was more concerned about um paying for the house i was more concerned about um moving into my apartment i need to save i need to lubricate my esophagus the ceiling has leaked so much for one month straight now that the uh, oil pens has like have marks on them like i'm actually looking at it now so i don't have peace of mind in this apartment it's just stressing me out and then the staircase anytime it rains the staircase looks like hell. There is water, there's more, there's sand, there's it is it's very, very disgusting. Now um I tried to hold a meeting right with the tenant so we could see how we would all put hands together and keep the staircase clean. But guess what? Nobody showed up. You know the first day I had to clean the staircase by myself. And then I met the landlord and I asked him about the staircase. He was like, yeah, he'll tell his boys to um, come clean it. I didn't see anybody. I reminded him after two weeks. He was like, yeah, he'll tell his boys to come clean it. Nope. They still did not come to clean it. After, after three weeks, I, I reminded him no one came. And it was at that point I, I knew that, okay, look, no one is coming to clean the staircase. If it's dirty and you want it clean, you clean it yourself. And then I cleaned it again myself, but I had to look for like the um, boys around to help me clean the staircase, and then I, I paid them money. Now this was what the landlord said after I paid some boys money to help me clean the staircase. He said that if I want the staircase clean, I should give him the money, and he would get someone to clean it. When he said that in my mind, I'm like, but I thought this man said he was going to tell his boys to clean the staircase. Why do I have to give him money to get someone to clean the staircase? So this is why I said he is very like money cautious. Let me, I forgot something. Let's go back to the water. Now, when I buy water from him in, in, in cans, I can't bring them upstairs, right? I am a weekly, trust me. So I still give money to the same boy that helped me to clean the staircase to bring it up. And then he told me that no, I should give him the money. After buying water, I should give him money so he would give someone to bring the water upstairs for me. Now, the amount the person he claimed would bring the water up for me was more compared to what I give this boy to bring water upstairs for me. So I, I refused. I told him, no, I won't give him money to give someone to bring water upstairs. He will give me water. Let me let me buy water and then get someone to bring water for me upstairs. And then uh, I did that for like um, two weeks. And then when I went to buy water after two weeks, I buy water like after every two two days, like every two two days. I use water a lot, cooking, cleaning. <laughs> when I say the cookies, like I'm cooking almost every day now. <laughs> but like yeah, and cleaning, you know. I use water a lot, so I buy water like every two two days. So after like two weeks, 
I went to buy water and he said he wouldn't sell water to me because he does not want the boy that brings water up for me to take water and I'm like why and he was like no he has someone who is stronger and I'm like no the person you claim that is stronger takes more money from me now I, I later realized that when I give him this money he does not pay that guy to bring it up for me He is just too money cautious. Like, and he is so old, like very old. <sighs> Honestly, I, I can't comprehend. Like I <sighs> and this this thing really pisses me off anytime I I I think about it or talk about it, it really gets to me you know and now any little thing he tells me oh it seems he might not be able to sell water for me again like threatening me that he won't sell water for me or sell water to me and i'm i'm very confused because of how much I'm, I'm really felt it. I'm like, I'm fed up. I don't... I don't even know. Should I stay till December? Because that's when my rent is going to expire. Should I stay till December and face this... This problem... Leaking roof. Dirty staircase. Expensive water, expensive lights. I'll move out and lose money because I, I won't get a refund. Honestly, getting a house in this country is kind of um, difficult, especially for foreigners. They would want to, you know, make life miserable for you. When I was looking for a house, there were a lot of wood houses I saw, but there was always one thing, one thing. It's either the the prices were too high because they knew they know you are a foreigner, know you're a Nigerian, or maybe sometimes the landlord, in fact there was this place I went to and they said the landlord said that he did not want to rent out his um, house to any Nigerian. And sometimes you won't blame them though because I've seen other landlords that had um, terrible experience with Nigerian tenants so I don't blame them but yeah they just it's not actually right to categorize everyone like you know well, like they said one bad ex boys the rest so mode of transportation in Benin Republic so the most common and fastest mode of transportation in Benin Republic is by Kekeno that's bike, they call the bikes Kekeno. And since I've been back, or since I moved back, I have had an accident from Kekeno like twice. I've fallen from Kekeno twice. In fact, the second time I sustained injuries, like I have scars. Touching. And after that, after the second accident, I told myself that I would not take Kekeno again. I will take only taxi. And trust me, I, I did this taxi thing for just one week and I went broke. <laughs> yeah, because um, no, they're kind of like, yeah, they're kind of a little bit expensive. And the fact that the exchange rate is very, very bad and the money is like useless somehow. 
you know. I don't even know. So now what I do is, if I'm not going to like a, a, a far place, a far distance, I take Kekeno. But if I'm going somewhere far, I take taxi. But if it's not important, I'm not living in my house, be weird. <laughs> because taking Kekeno now is like, and I'm on Kekeno, I'm like, oh my God, please protect me, Lord, protect me, Lord, protect me. Honestly, so far I am I, I, I am not enjoying my stay. You know, now that I'm living, living here, because you know, as a student, I did not feel a lot of things that I'm feeling now. It was different when I was a student, but now it just. It, it feels different. The people and there's so much hate. You know, then when I was a student, I was mostly around students, school environments, you know, going for um, school activities, student parties, and you know, all that. Just like hanging around students, basically, you know. But now that I am not schooling, I'm working and living here, it's it's different, you know. It's, it it feels I don't know how to explain, it just feels different. And you know there's one thing, these people have there is this hate that I, I don't even understand. Like they have this hate toward mostly, mostly Nigerians, especially when you don't even know how to speak French. Like they, they will try, they will try to should I use the word scam? It, I don't know if scam is the right word, but any given opportunity they have to take money from you, trust me, they would use it very well. Oh. Go to the markets, you know. If if something is let's say five thousand, trust me, they will tell you that thing is fifty thousand. If something is one thousand, they will tell you it's ten thousand. If they know you are a Nigerian or a foreigner, I, I, I don't I don't want to to say foreigners. Well, Nigerians are foreigners, but I want to actually be specific about the Nigerian part, the moment they know you are Nigerian, I don't know why they think Nigerians have money, I don't know. And I'm from Kekeno, Kekeno, in fact, the Kekeno on is very, very annoying. It's the Kekeno on that like, pisses me off very, 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 like the Kekeno. A distance of a hundred francs, Kekeno will tell you four hundred francs. No cap. And then when you try to price it, they'll be like, ah, are you not Nigerian? Like they will literally ask you, are you not Nigerian? Or they'll say, oh, you have the money, you should just pay them. Like they'll literally tell you, you have the money, you should just pay them. Excuse you. So much, so much, and at this point, I keep asking myself, why, why do I want to stay? Should I go back? Keep asking myself all these questions. In fact, especially this house, I, I, I don't. This house, especially, you know, I can actually deal with some other things 
right? By just staying indoors, you know, not going outside. Because if I do not go outside, how you gonna hit me? If you don't see me, how you gonna hit me? If you don't see me, how you gonna take my money? But going outside is like going outside to bring out this bad energy from this house because this house been giving me some bad vibes, bad energy, bad air. This is another day